So we've got our first drawer face attached with, uh, with just the use of the adjusters so far. Once we've got all three drawer faces set and where we, we're sure that's where we want them, then we'll come back and put the, the finish, the final screws that set them into place so they won't move. So I've got a little 1 8 inch spacer here and this will, all we have to do is sit this on top of this drawer front and set the other drawer front on top of that and that will give me my reveal. But I have another little tool that performs an additional function. So these guys right here are designed to be both a spacer and a handle. So I can use those, I can set those on top of this drawer face and that will give me my eighth of an inch gap but it also provides a handle for me which can be nice and handy when I come back later and I want to attach the uh, screw, the drawer face from the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and use these as my spacer. Are we going to get a full eighth of an inch? Yes. With the banding? We'll have less gap at the top. Okay, so I've got my little spacers in the correct location. Side to side I'm where I want it to be. mark. I can see right, I've got a mark right there and a mark right there. So I'm going to go ahead and drill holes at my mark. some three-quarter inch machine screws through the drawer box and then I'm going to uh, get my drawer front adjusters, remove the marking pins and install the adjusters. sure they're flush on the back side. Over here and got my screwdriver. that screw and tightening it up and then I can press on that screw and as soon as it I can rotate the drawer until it engages and then I can tighten it up on this side. Again I'm going to snug that up but not super tight because I still want to be able to adjust it. So right now we're looking at this is sitting perfectly flush on top of my adjusters and if I want to just check to see if I'm level across the cabinet, I'm going to measure the distance there, 3 eighths of an inch, 3 eighths of an inch, that's, yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. So. Uh, no necessary, no adjustment necessary. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and uh, move this thing up or down either side. I can move it right or left if I want to. Let me just see where I ended up here uh, after messing around with it. It still looks pretty good. Uh, if I wanted to use the drawer uh, track adjusters, I can also move it side to side. We'll typically don't get too worried about that until we get it on site and we're doing the final installation and that's when we'll really start wanting to fine tune this adjustment. Okay, so I'm happy with where that drawer box is right now, or drawer face is right now. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more of my little 
spacer handles on top of this drawer. And we're going to take a look at another method for attaching the drawer face. So we have these little blind nails that are manufactured by put, them, uh, put one on the on the table there so we can by fast tap. So you've got a little nail that's got a little head right in the center of it, so it's got a pointy end on each end. Okay? So that's called a blind nail. And this is 7 16 in both directions. I'm going to put this into this little tool that looks like a center punch, except it's got a hollow tip. So I can just slide that, that nail right into the tip of that center punch. And I'm going to go ahead and install one. Let me see, I need a regular hammer. One in each corner. I'm going to attach it towards the top. of the corners. They don't have to be in exactly the same position. I'm going to grab one of these clamps here that I like for this part of the job. And I'm going to take our drawer face and you can see the advantage of this particular methodology is that there's no milling necessary on the back side of the drawer itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this drawer face up here on top of that spacer. I'm going to line it up side to side and I'm going to okay. Now it may come off of these nails but if I'm really careful it may stay okay. So I was able to keep pull this away from the cabinet without pulling it off of the nails. If it came off of the nails I would just have to relocate it, but I'm going to use the clamp to just squeeze it onto that nail tightly. Okay, so now it's pretty firmly attached to that drawer face, and at this point I'm going to take my one inch screws and attach it to the drawer box. I'm going to back it up and drive it again because the screw pushed it away just a little bit. down so it's not so uncomfortable. Okay, so that's tight. So now we have that top drawer face is attached. The only adjustment that I have to adjust this drawer track, this drawer face is in the drawer track. So um, I have side to side adjustment in the drawer track, and I do have vertical adjustment. I can lift up that drawer box if I want to. Uh, I don't have the added drawer uh, uh, adjustment that appears in the uh, the drawer front adjuster. So blind nail is a little bit quicker and for a journeyman, somebody who's familiar with the system, they can probably do this faster. And uh, the, the advantage, I guess, of the drawer front adjusters is you have, you have improved or have greater adjustment capability. So uh, we have our drawer faces attached and um, I can go ahead. If we were on the job site, I would just leave these in place so that when it comes time for me to attach the handles or do anything else until I get the actual finished decorative hardware on here these will be a handle for me to open and close that drawer face. 
Okay.